Hi, welcome to this Young at Art at Home project. Today we are going to be making frozen chalk paintings. So what we'll have to do first is create frozen chalk. And we can do this from a very few simple materials. So all you'll need is some cornstarch, you'll need some baking soda, you'll also need some water, and then food dye or some kind of liquid watercolor will be really great for adding color to this creation. You can use either a um, ice cube tray or instead of using an ice cube tray, I'm gonna make them in sm small Dixie cups and then we'll put them in the freezer so they can freeze. So you'll want between six to 12 hours um, before you wanna do this project so that you can create the cubes and then put them in the freezer uh, and then you'll be able to take them out and have some fun. So to mix up this frozen chalk, what you'll wanna do, the measurements are not super precise, but I'm gonna use um, a quarter cup and put a quarter cup of baking soda into a mixing bowl Now I'm gonna put a quarter cup of the cornstarch into a mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna add the water and you'll want about a half a cup of water. Now I'm gonna mix this together and then add the food dye because I wanna use a few different colors. So you'll wanna mix this up until it's all one consistency. Getting the baking soda and the cornstarch incorporated. And then I'm gonna pour a little bit into a couple different bowls so that I can create the different colors. So I'll pour a little bit, making sure it's nice and incorporated before you pour it. So I'll put a little bit in there and then pour a little bit in here. And you can make more of this and pour it into lots of different containers for different colors. You can also leave them white. So I'm gonna start with making a pinkish red. I'm going to do about seven to eight drops in here. The more drops you do, the darker it will be. And then I'll get my spoon back to mix that up. And now I will mix up a different color. So I'll go ahead and do a blue. about seven drops there. If you have some water, you can wash off your spoon. Otherwise you might just end up with a, a new color. And there's a beautiful blue, making sure it's mixed all the way through. And now these are ready to pour into our Dixie cups and put them into the freezer. You'll wanna pour now just a little bit into the Dixie cup. I'm gonna go for about halfway because it's gonna freeze faster. So I'll end up with a couple blue cubes. And a couple of the red. And I've noticed that if it sits, sometimes it um, separates, starts to separate a little bit. So I'm gonna mix it up one more time before pouring it into the Dixie cup. All right, so now these are ready to go into the freezer and about six to 10 hours later, we'll have some frozen cubes for painting with. Frozen chalk cubes. All right, so now I've got my chalk ice cubes for this painting and we've got a really hot sunny day so this is perfect for it. What you wanna do is first, if you're using the Dixie cups, take the Dixie cup off or if you're using the ice cube trays, just pop those uh, chalk 
ice cubes out. And once you've got all the paper out, one thing that'll help you get more of a view of the colors is if you use some water on the ground first. So I'm just gonna spread out some water and then I'll let these guys start to melt. And if you are using the Dixie Cups, you'll notice they'll, um, the bottom part will come off once it's melted a little bit more. And then we'll get to start to see our colors coming alive. You'll see them start to spread and add a little more water. And the more time that they're out here, the more they're gonna lose their color and you'll be able to paint with them. So the longer you play with these, the more they're gonna melt and the color's gonna come out of them. I recommend doing this near a hose where you can wash off afterwards and even wearing some swimsuits so you can get messy with this. Have fun and notice how these colors can be mixed all together. This red and blue is now making a purple in here. And this is a great way to have fun with messy colors outside. Thanks for joining this Young at Art at Home project with this chalk ice cube paintings. Join us again. If you visit the Steamboat Creates YouTube channel, you can subscribe so you're the first to know when we upload a new video. Be well. Bye.